How do you take this idea to reality? You talked about a few components you needed to get there from A to B. Access to lab space, access to equipment, access to talent. Um, we are co-founder in this case. So what you had to do to really take it from A to B? You know, we started out with almost a basic research question. Like There wasn't mm -hmm. established bodies of research that were looking at the cannabinoid system and how it works in a yeast cell, let's like say, right? That was all of our own work that we had to do ourselves to figure out uh, if the these enzymes are going to work, how to engineer them, how to like create a system of doing that and how to do the fermentation and all this other stuff. We had to figure out all of that ourselves. And I think we were extremely lucky to have, you know, our investors supporting us and like being able to raise more capital, uh, even though we were always at like such an early stage, especially when we were getting started. It's just like, you know, really like basic research. But at the same time, like we've proven the success of that opportunity where mm -hmm. like you are going after something new that isn't really established and there is some level of research risk involved. But at the same time, like, you know, our investors benefit from being willing to take that risk at, at such an early stage for a company and for a research topic in general.